The ternary operator is not a new JavaScript feature, nor is it unique to JavaScript. It's an old programming concept. It is, however, immensely helpful in a wide variety of situations. Whether you're working exclusively in vanilla JS or live in frameworks like React and Angular, it'll come in handy on a frequent basis. So let's talk about how to use it. The basic gist is, the ternary operator evaluates a statement and, if it's true, does one thing, but if it's false, does another. It's written in this format. It's kind of interesting because it's really almost a sentence, especially with that question mark. Is this thing true? If so, do one thing. If not, do another. So let's take a look at a practical example which does everything in line with no function calls. So the first one should give us the fail case and the second one should give us the success case. Let's check it out. And there we go. Obviously, in the real world, you'd refactor that code so the ternary operator is within a function that can take a name rather than rewriting the ternary operator each time. But for now, we're being hyper explicit to show how this stuff works. You don't have to inline the functionality like we're doing above. You can call functions in a ternary operator, which allows you to perform much more complex actions without having to stuff them all in there. Here's an example. So we're using array.isArray to make sure that demigods is an array, which it is, so it should list them all out using the logarray function. Let's check it out. Oops, this should be r and not array. There we go. Now, you don't have to do stuff in both cases. Let's say you want to do something if the statement is true, but just not do anything if it's false. This happens a lot in React. Just return null like this. Save that. Refresh, and that code's going to do, well, nothing. See? Very exciting. Want to use complex evaluations in ternaries? No problem. They behave in the same way that if statements do, like this. Both of these are going to yield true because we get a complete match with the first case, and then we have a partial match with the or case. True and true. Curious about why this shows up so often in React? It's because JSX has some limitations about doing things on multiple lines, so ternaries, which allow for single line logic, become valuable. This code won't work if you just stick it in a browser console because we're out of the React environment. But for those of you familiar with React components, here's a simple example. So that's breaking syntax highlighting at the moment, but hopefully you can get the idea. Man, I love React, but we're getting off topic, so let's wrap things up. Ternary operators are fantastic single line solutions to quick true-false evaluations. If all you're doing is simple evaluation, they often replace the need for an if-else block entirely, which saves lines of code and keeps things readable. I definitely recommend adding them to your toolkit. See you next week.